Welcome. This is the Cisco CCNA ENSA, also known as the Enterprise Networking Security and Automation course. This course focuses on the CCNA version 7 curriculum. This is course 3 of 3. Welcome to lab 2.4. Point eleven modifying a single area OSPF B2. I already have my lab open. I have my lab document on the right and I have my packet tracer on the left. I've already read through the scenario so I know kind of what I'm doing. So part one, modify the OSPF default setting. Before we do anything for uh, modifying the ver uh, OSPF settings, verify that all PCs can ping the web server. Web server is not terminal command line ping sixty four dot one hundred dot one dot two. ARP should uh, occur, so one timeout, three good. Ping sixty four dot. 100.1.2 it can also ping it PC3 ping 64.100.1.2 it can ping it so we have met this criteria step 2 adjust the hello timer and dead timers between R1 and R2 so let's go ahead and jump on R1 R1. We want to go ahead and get to our serial 000 interface. So global configuration. Conf G. Get serial 000. And we want to go ahead and change the OSPF. Low interval to 15 seconds. We want to change the IP OSPF. Dead interval, 60 seconds. And again, that's just at R1. So OSPF uh, with R2 should start failing. It shows that the adjacencies are still up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause and give it some time. All right, so the dead timers are now showing expired. Again, a big part of that is because of the change. So both sides of the connection need to have the same timer settings. So adjust the timer on R2 to match the ones on R3. The assumption is that's still going to be interface Serial zero two comp t hit serial zero 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 IP OSPF hello timer fifteen IP OSPF dead timer sixteen and we're going to wait a minute. And you'll see that it went from loading to full. It is now fully back up. So scroll down a little bit. Step three, we're gonna adjust some bandwidth settings. So on PC one, ping, oh, sorry, not ping, trace route, trace RT 64.100. Dot one dot two. It goes from PC one to R one from R one goes to R two from R two it goes to the internet from R from the uh, internet off of R two goes to the web server. So that is complete. So on R1's serial 00 interface, we're going to change the connection. So we're going to put this connection between R1 and R2 
to a 64-bit connection instead of a traditional 100. Actually, I think they're uh, a lot faster than that, but we're going to change the default speed. So interface 0000, already there. Bandwidth 64. That will alter the path that we take. Now we go from PC1 to R1, R1 to R3, R3 to R2, R2 to internet, internet to web server. Because this link is slow, so it's faster to go to R3 than to R2 than it is to try to send data out of the slow link between R1 and R2. All right, last thing, we're gonna make sure we can uh, verify that all PCs can ping the web server still. And that will be the end of this lap. So we're gonna go ahead and again, we can ping the web server. We can ping the web server from PC1. We're gonna ping it from PC3, which we can. All right, let's go ahead and check results and see if we've completed. We've done assessments. We have five check marks. We have five out of five, 25 out of 25. Questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.